First Energy is closing its last coal-fired power plants in Ohio and Pennsylvania. Here's First News anchor Dave Sess with the big decision. First Energy has filed deactivation notices for four plants, including this one in Beaver County and two more in Jefferson County. This is a regional impact. You're talking about hundreds of jobs, uh, people that, uh, that drive up and down uh, State Route 7 to get back and forth to work every day. First Energy says they'll close within four years. The plants provide energy to the regional wholesale markets. And the First Energy president says the plants face the insurmountable challenge of a market that does not sufficiently value their contribution to the security and flexibility of our power system. Congressman Bill Johnson says the administration has told FERC, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, to look at energy reliability and sustainability to make sure the grid can provide power at all times. And coal has proven itself to be uh, adaptable, reliable, flexible, uh, and one of the most reliable sources of energy on the planet. First Energy said the decision to close the coal-fired plants was difficult. Earlier this year, it revealed plans to shut down its three nuclear power plants. Congressman Johnson knows there are enough coal reserves to fuel our energy needs for generations, and he's not giving up on coal. And we need to recognize that America needs the jobs and the cost-effective, reliable power that coal-fired energy provides. And I'm going to continue to, uh, to fight for that. The coal-fired plants will continue to operate as normal. Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.